All right, this is Tweety Boys. It is August 15, 2021, 11.58 a.m. Back in action, cannabis, otherwise known as marijuana. Yes, sir. Esta la fiesta. What's going on in the world? Twitter, twitter twitter.com, twitter.com, banning, banning tweety.com. Oh, well, Alexander Caucasian Cortez, shout out to libraries and library workers. We love and appreciate you. That's all. Can we stop calling people who do their chosen jobs heroes? Heroes are those who go above and beyond, or like a school teacher who wrestles a gunman down to the floor. The latest on Afghanistan as Taliban edges closer to talking control. Live updates. Taliban enter Kabul. Afghan president flees country. Live updates. Okay. Check it out. Ha 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 ha. Yes, sir. Uh, don't you dare touch that dial. Teachers from today's banning mask mandates are speaking out. Here's what they want you to know. Teachers are already struggling to do their job during a pandemic. This is not going to go down nicely. I guarantee it. Teachers from states banning mask mandates are speaking out. Here's what they want you to know. By Christina Zadnowicz. CNN updated 1036 AM, Sunday, August 15, 2021. Teachers are already struggling to do their job during a pandemic, but it's worse for those working in states where mask mandates are prohibited. Some fear students who are ineligible for vaccines may die. Others worry about having to enforce social distancing. Or they worry about bringing the virus home in family. State officials in some states, including Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arizona, and Iowa, have passed laws to use their authority or use their authority to prevent statewide mask mandates and make mask costs use optional. CNN spoke with teachers from states banning mask mandates to get their perspective. They requested CNN withhold their last names out of fear of retribution. Here are some of the stories that sold in their own words. The response has been edited for lengthy clarity. Pam, Oklahoma. I teach in Oklahoma where it is now legal. I teach in Oklahoma where it is now illegal for schools to mandate a mask for vaccination through the month 25th year teaching. My biggest concern is that there is a real possibility one of my fifth graders could die from COVID-19 and I can't do anything to protect them because it is against the law. And I can't do anything to protect them because it is against the law. And I can't do anything to protect them because it is against the law. I just can't imagine having students that are there one day and not the next, or even if they die, what if their hospital doesn't have to go through that traumatic experience? If you have someone to walk into my room with a weapon, I would do everything I could to protect my kids. And so this just seems so bad that I can't protect them from something that I can't see. There are over 3,000 students in my high school, Julie from Houston says, Julie from Houston says, there will not be three feet between anybody at any given time. How fast do you think that the Valley will travel within that population. I have no power. There are no teacher unions in Texas. Welcome back to my school building is going to feel like I'm land walking to a slaughterhouse. I don't see how the governor has the power to tell the school districts what to do. It's ridiculous. It's a public health issue. The least we can do is wear a mask. Those work. The kids all wore them last year and they didn't have any problem. Not one kid. I have all the students. They're seniors when the kids have more sense than the district. Yeah, I wonder what the school district is doing. And I hate to say this, but for Texas, it's going to take children dying for the governor to take that no mask mandate away. Victoria, Palm Beach County, Florida. I worry. Since I live in one of the largest counties in Florida, and masks are not allowed to be enforced in schools, and then there are a lot of COVID cases in our area, my school district has become very creative with their mandate. They're doing a loophole where masks are not required for students unless the parent has written an opt-out letter. This is my second year teaching. I spent my entire student teaching experience in this pandemic, and I want to be able to have normalcy in my job since I never had it. The only way to get to that point is by being safe right now, but it seems our governor is too concerned with politics and with the lives of young children. I'm so excited to get back into the classroom, but I am also so scared for myself and for all of my students. I keep thinking of this one thing that Governor DeSantis said we need our kids to breathe I immediately thought how can they breathe if they're dead I know that's so morbid and so dark, but that's the reality. Jennifer from Avondale, Arizona. My children are excited to be around friends again and to get back into activities they enjoy. It is unbelievably frustrating that certain states like Arizona have banned school districts from requiring masks to protect our children who are too young to receive the vaccine. It is not using common sense because our governor is pushing vaccines. We are beginning the school year as if there's no pandemic happening and common sense should tell our governor that it's a matter of time before we're right back where we were, if not worse. I'm a mom in this district and I'm a teacher in the district. My oldest daughter is in school. My oldest daughter, my older daughter's school has already had positive COVID cases. However, that school wasn't on it fast. They made the kids stay home and it hasn't spread to all the students. And I'm teaching with someone that has a cough and a fever. She should have been sent home. These kinds of things are happening now within the same district. That would be livid if I found out my child's teacher had a fever and a cough and was teaching. Diane, Jacksonville, Florida. I worry that while I am vaccinated and we're not required to wear my mask, my students are not vaccinated and non masked too. It has to be all or nothing. We can't pick and choose who wears a mask and who doesn't. It's frustrating. I would rather teach remotely until everyone is on the same page. We did well last year because we had so many protocols in place with cleaning, wearing masks, socially distancing and quarantining and contact tracing and all of that seems to have just gone away. We may not agree politically. That's fine. But all we have is a common enemy and that enemy is COVID. Why are we not united on that? Teachers, what's going through your head as another school year starts? What are the challenges you face as the pandemic continues? CNN wants to know a lot of the work teachers do is unseen. What don't people don't know about the teacher? What people don't know about the teacher experience? Right now, what people don't know, what 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 don't people know, what the, what 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 don't people know, what about the what don't people know, what do people know about what teachers are experiencing right now? What worries you most about the coming school year? Share your thoughts with us, and we may find a first in that story. It is Sweetie Voice Sunday, J August 15, 2021, 12 7 p.m. Check it.